Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. We just got done doing the the eagle and I am just started to do the um, a pig. Now this pig was done earlier, but I didn't wasn't too happy with how the body. This was done out of a straight block. A straight block, one inch by one inch uh, block. And I was just whittling it one day and um, I thought I'd do a pig now uh, a little differently. This block was um, one and a half inch by one and a half inch by one inch and I cut out each end to make it wider here. Okay, I have a pattern for it but the pattern's just a squared off how how to square it out not so much the actual look to it. I got ahead of myself here and the tape didn't work before and I apologize for that. Uh, this is a nice little beginners project if you are just starting to carve uh, once you get the top, well, you don't have to do the top profile. You could do that uh, with a knife. You can really do all of it with a knife. All you need to do is cut each side and cut it in um, smaller. Because actually, I need the pig to look to go inwards like this. Uh, you see, the pig's way too flat and <laughs> not really a little <laughs> long for a pig. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the same concept for the head and just a little bit wider body. So what I did on my last video that I kind of messed up, um, what I had done was I took uh, behind, where the ears are, where this met, and I put a V notch on each corner, okay? On each corner I put a V notch and, and then across the top here a little bit. And now I was in the process of thinning out his snout just kind of rounding this out a little bit oh the one thing I forgot to do <laughs> getting way ahead of myself this time um, is to put a, um, a reference line down the center okay so try to find where the center is and just put a reference point uh, a reference line all the way around including on the bottom you know try to try to find the middle here a little bit and just take that up and just to give you a reference point okay that you can keep it kind of in in balance um, so all we're doing is we're um, right now I'm just doing the snap portion of it and trying to round this up a little further up closer Now his snout is not going to be huge, okay? It will be definitely bigger than this one. It's a little bit bigger head, okay? But um, it'll be pretty, pretty simple design here, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to round it up to the, that that line, and then I'm just going to keep. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a little bit at an angle, not straight on. Perfect. That's exactly where I want to go here. All right. See how the the angle is going upward for the snout. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That's good. So all this has to come out, and we're going to round off the bottom of the head at the same time. You know, do a little bit everywhere. Usually works pretty good that way. And I'm just going to notch this out a little further down here. Make sure you have your carver's glove on, folks, and your thumb guard. I don't wear one because it's easier for me to teach without it, and I'm not accustomed to it. I've been at it for quite a while. It doesn't really excuse me, but I know um, that's been a debate, but I choose not to wear one. But I highly recommend all beginners, uh, especially, to wear one at all times. Um, I think it's really important to have your knife sharp and how to learn how to control your knife will prevent a lot of your cuts. Um, learning the safe way of cutting with your knife. And if you're not aware of that, go to my basics cutting. Uh, we'll tell you uh, basic knife cutting and basic cuts with a knife. I have a video on how to handle your knife. And if you get a chance to watch that, especially if you're a beginner, that would be very helpful to you. Okay, so here we go, where the head's shaping up. And I'm going to scoop this out a little further here, where the ears are. 
And this is the top of the ears here, so we don't want to do too much to that right there, okay? And we're going to look at it again. And then I'm going to take that portion out, and I'm going to try to scoop some of that out. Keep looking at it, and if you lose your reference point, make sure you put it back on. It's important. Okay. Let me just take a look here. For a second. Alright, we're going to keep digging this out here in the face. And folks, we'll be back. I'll be back in a little bit to keep going here. And we'll be back in a little bit to finish up the ears. <laughs> 